This is Mitch here from Blue Water Trailers. I'm excited to uh, show you our hybrid. I um, just want to show you why we've been so successful um, selling a lot of these hybrids um, over top of your standard tilt and load and why customers are choosing um, the hybrid over the uh, standard tilt and load. Um, so the biggest thing is, is the ease of loading your sleds, ATVs, quads. Um, a lot easier, you just put the ramp down and drive up. Tilt and load, pretty, pretty big chore. I'll just get up to the front here. So the first thing you would have to do is crank your handle, release it from the lock, tilt the bed, and then go to the rear, open up the lid, tilt that up in the air. And then when you load one sled, Sometimes it might want to tilt back down. You got to get someone, you know, putting their foot on the end or whatever. So quite a bit of, you know, messing around. And it's not as easy. Like you wouldn't be able to do a quad with a high windshield. That, that gap's pretty low. Um, and bikes would be a little scary coming down here on a tilt and load. So, you know, so the, e uh, the ease of loading a hybrid, much easier. The next thing would be just tying all the units together like the tongue the upper shell and the main frame and welding them all together so you don't have any rattling and moving parts so so the tongue it's all welded to the main frame the upper shell inside is all welded to the main frame so nothing is rattling and moving when you're going up north four or five hours. Um, you know, there's no moving parts. When you don't have moving parts, there's a lot less maintenance. You know, this one, you got three. You know, you got where the, the tongue is tied in there, bolted in. You got the main frame. And then you have the shell. So you're going down the road, things are wiggling and moving around. Just over time, you're going to get things breaking. So that's probably the two main things that I would say. Um, the rest, I just want to kind of go over some of the differences of uh, why we feel this is the best hybrid on the market. Um, let's uh, go take a look at it. So mats and guides, we just include them because if you're reversing your sled out of there and you got picks or anything else, you're just gonna rip up the floor. So you're just gonna add them later. So you might as well just buy it right, you know, right from the factory installed. You got your ski tie down bars. You got a full length rail so you can add D rings. You got your front access door your light, kick plate, both sides. So you can run your sled into the side there and just ride up. This is a really big one, 16 inch on center wall studs. If you go out there and measure some of the other competitors, you'll find 24 um, and uh, you're just losing a lot of strength on the side wall and also the roof you'll find 24 so 16 16 inch on center on the roof as well so for snow load that's going to handle a lot better if you take a look at it we have all led tail lights clearance lights the brighter lasts longer new for this year we have aluminum uh, cam bars you know Standard in the industry is zinc. Basically, they look great for the first year. Pretty well guarantee you, first or so, you know, a year or two later, if they're zinc, they're going to be rusty. So, you aluminum cam bars is what you're looking for. You got uh, your two cables to make that ramp nice and light to lift up. We have a tapered ramp. So you don't have to have a ramp flap that you're messing around with or sometimes companies have piano hinges well sleds just eat that up you know you'll only get a year or so out of that 
I'll lift up the ramp. New for this year as well are these aluminum hinges. There's four of them on there, lots of support. You got a, your license plate bracket, some companies just have two bolts or they hang underneath and you catch them. So it's nice, nicely tucked up there. Same frame, it's got nice profile to it. That's for extra strength. Got RV side door. It's great for fueling sleds, putting in extra gear, especially if you got two of you in there. One guy is three quarters uh, full and you're full. You know, you want to get those sleds even so when you get to that remote area, everybody has the same amount of uh, fuel. So every time everybody needs fuel, your guys are all on the same level. So it's nice to fuel those sleds up before you get to the trails or quads. Easy lube hubs. So you just basically peel this back. There's a grease nipple in there. You can service your axle. Your side step makes it a little easier to get in and out. That's new for this year. Now this uh, door is an RV style door. What that means is that you have like a latch. There's no cam bar on there. So you can go in, close the door behind you, get what you need and uh, you can open it from the inside. Aluminum door hold backs. Some standard in the industry is uh, like plastic. What we find is that they break, so a little bit better quality. It's nice. You just easily unclip that. Slammer shut. All uh, screwless panels. If you look on those panels, there's no screws in between the seams. I just want to also show you this angle of this front here. It has a really nice angle. Uh, some companies that have shorter trailers, like uh, 11s or 10 foot, they kind of try to basically put those more straight up. Really ugly, you know, they're like kind of like a, you know, pulling a shed around. Um, but it's basically so you can get your your sled in there without hitting your windshield. Um, so that's why they're going straighter. But since ours is a 12 foot trailer and our 12 starts from here and this is extra. So some companies include this as their, their box foot. So really they're actually 11 or 10. And with today's sleds, they're getting a lot longer. So you're gonna need a 12 foot hybrid to fit them in there and with the gear that you possibly might need. The front access door, it's larger this year. It's 30 by 70. Um, a lot easier to grab, get in there and grab your ski, ski bars and get those tight. Um, they're dual cylinders. And then we changed up the locking system this year and added these wheels for the ceiling of the door and it's a lockable. We've got a wraparound stone guard. It's a little higher standard industry um, just to protect those stones that are getting up there. Triple tube tongue. Swivel jack inch ball coupler your safety chains it's nice how they tuck this wiring in to the main frame here um, you know versus running on the side it's just it's protected in that tubing there's some more of that profiled tubing you know for extra strength also what I found um, Alcom all they do is aluminum welding so they don't have they don't build a steel brand and their aluminum welds are a lot more consistent than other brands that build steel and aluminum because sometimes they pull their steel welders over and uh, get them to help the, the aluminum line. But if you have guys that only do aluminum all day long, you get a lot much, or much more consistent welds.
You got your side vents to circulate the air. There's one on this side, one on the other. What you're riding on is a 12 inch radial tire. Um, we've done fat boys in the past, um, uh, like they're a 10 inch fat boy or an eight inch fat boy. We had a lot of warranty claims on them, um, a lot of blowouts. You definitely wanna ride on a 12 inch radial tire, not a bias ply or a fat boy. Um, they just, they can get a lot more miles out of this. Galvanized rim versus, you know, we upgrade it versus a powder coated rim. Within a year or two, your galvan or your powder coat will be rusty. Pretty, pretty well guarantee you that. So you might as well just upgrade to the galvanized rim. The axle is a Torflex axle. That is a rubber ride suspension. A lot less maintenance to a torsion axle versus a spring with, that has bushings in it. And you also get a smoother ride. So if you go over some bumps, this is going to equalize out a lot faster than a spring. A spring will just keep on bouncing and shifting around the road. So you want to look for a torsion axle. They're a little, you know, a couple bucks more, but versus a spring axle, you're way, way ahead. And you can see some of the tubing underneath the frame, lots of support. There again, great welds, you know, right under the, the Right under the trailer, you know, all over it, consistent. There's also, if you're looking at, there's some hybrids on, on the market where they, it's actually still an open bed trailer where they just put a lid. And how you can see that is that you can see wood right here. So they've just put a lid on top of uh, an open trailer and screwed it down. And you can also see it right here. So you want every, you want your hybrid trailer to be all welded together, tongue, mainframe, upper shell. We have lots of options for uh, different trailers. Um, also, I probably should touch on this as well, is that this trailer is about six inches taller than some competitors which you're going to need that for windshields and, and, and taller sleds. Um, so take a look at the height of, uh, of what, you're, what you're purchasing. Um, so this is a little bit taller than uh, standard in the industry. We have lots of options for different types of trailers. We have drive-in, drive-outs. We have tilt and loads. We have uh, basically your hybrid in front of us here. If this isn't what you're looking for, we have hundreds of trailers in stock. We have a great website where you can do live quoting. We do financing, we do delivery. We look forward to your call.